feel very strongly that there is, well I know for a fact that there's enough food in the United States to feed not only everybody who's hungry in the country, but there's enough food produced in the world to feed everybody. Um, and that's something that I feel very strongly that not enough people know or realize or do anything about. My definition of gleaning is uh, where folks go out into the fields and they gather the fruits and vegetables that are not pretty enough for the market and they glean what is left behind after the harvest which means they pick up what is left behind after the harvesters come through because the harvesters only gather the prettiest and the best and the perfect size. What supervisor is, whether it's myself or another area coordinator or another volunteer, um, they kind of tell all the volunteers about Society of St. Andrew, who we are, what we do, um, and they go over how and what we're picking that day, whether it's corn, potatoes, citrus, um, and then we get picking. <laughs> a day at a time, I want you. Most companies, you know, and Rollins would be one of those, um, they want to give back to the community. We're here as part of the City Winter Park, for example, and we have a great partnership with them. Uh, it's a great way to get employees to come here. Everybody wants to give these days. Um, everybody has personal causes, and when they find out that your institution or your company um, has that kind of passion to community service, that makes them want to join there and give more. You know, people want to work-life balance, and they want to work for a company where they feel that not only do they do a good job at work, but they have the opportunity to explore their passions after work. And so if that can kind of tie into the institution's mission as well, that's a win-win situation. I think the greatest thing you can do is always give back, because everybody around you, as a community, a community brings up somebody. And so you have to give back in order to really reap, to really reap the rewards. Because when you help somebody, you feel good, but at the same time, we're helping that person, you're also bringing them up. Well, the thing is with community service, I think America is at a situation right now where we don't go out of our way enough to kind of help those out. And it's almost like, who's gonna do it if we don't do it? So once you go ahead and you find that compassion to do community service, you start infecting other people. Service by itself is meant to be just out of the kindness of your own heart. And once you adopt that mindset, you start adopting different mindsets like acceptance, tolerance of diversity, things like that. When you can put in work for a cause that doesn't directly benefit you, I think that's the best type of service you can do. Uh, especially when we have hard economic times like we do now, it's really important to give to others and to serve others. So I would just encourage people to take a little bit of time and it doesn't take that much time to do it. You have friends and you're having fun and you're doing work at the same time, there really isn't a better, a, a, a better deal you can ask for. The USDA estimates that 96 billion pounds of food goes to waste in America every year and there's something that can be done about it. Uh, there are thousands and thousands of people that, that aren't volunteering that can get out there and volunteer and uh, help pick those crops. But uh, Society of St. Andrew works to bridge that gap between that 96 billion pounds of food that just is thrown away every year and the 52 million people in America that are food insecure.